negative numbers adding and subtracting. So we know that negative numbers are those smaller than zero. And remember, it's always useful to think of a thermometer and temperature when we're working with negative numbers. Let's have a look at this question. Minus four plus six. It's always useful to draw yourself a number line to help. And as with normal calculations, we're going to start with the minus four and then we're going to add on six. So let's have a look. Let's find the minus four on the number line. There it is, there's minus four. And we're going to add six more. So because we're starting with the minus four, if we're adding, that means we're going to be going this way up the number line. The numbers are going to get bigger. So let's add six. One, two, three, four. So we know that that will take us to zero. Five, six, and we end up at the number two. It's always useful to think, well, how many are there from my negative number until I get to zero and then from zero to my positive number? And we can see here that the answer is two. Let's look at another question. So we've got here minus three, minus four. Now, this time I'm going to draw myself a number line. So here's a very rough number line. Now, I can see from my question that I'm starting at minus three and then I'm subtracting. So my answer is going to be even smaller. So I'm going to need a number line that's got quite a few negative numbers on it. So let's put our minus three towards this end and then we know that we'll that would be minus two, minus one, zero. And then we want to go back this way. So we've got minus four, minus six, minus seven. And I'm going to go down to minus 10. Okay, let's have a look then. So we want to start at minus three. Let's find minus three on my number line. There it is. And we're going to subtract four. So we want to take away four from the minus three. So that means our number's going to get even smaller. So if you think about temperature, it's going to be going this way. So let's subtract four. One, two, three, four. And we end up at minus seven. So I know that my answer is minus seven. What about this question? We've got minus 13 plus four. Okay, I'm gonna draw myself my number line now. It starts quite low, it's at minus 13 and I'm adding. So I know my number's going to get bigger. So I can actually start with minus 13 at this end. And then minus 12, minus 11, minus 10, minus nine. Remember, I'm trying to go up towards zero. Minus eight, minus seven, minus six, minus five, minus four, and so on. So let's have a look then. So we've got the minus 13 here. Let's find that on our number line, minus 13, and we're going to add four. That means I'm going to be getting closer to zero because my number's going to get bigger. So one, two, three, four, and I end up at minus nine. Now it's your turn. Have a look at these questions, sketch yourself a number line if you need to, and then we'll look back at the answers. Okay, let's have a look at the answers. So question number one, minus seven plus six is minus one. Minus 19 plus 21 is two. Minus 15 minus three is minus 18 and minus nine minus five is minus 14. How did you do? If you made any mistakes, make sure that you're using a number line to sketch so that you can see whether the number is getting bigger or smaller. Now let's have a look at some word problems using negative numbers. Let's look at this first question. So in Australia at 2 p.m., the temperature was 32 degrees C. In Iceland at 2 p.m., the temperature was minus 2 degrees C. What was the difference in temperature between Australia and Iceland? Well, first of all, let's think about the important information here. So in Australia at 2 p.m., the temperature at 32, so that's going to be important for us, and Iceland minus 2. So we want to know the difference between minus 2 and 32. So what we need to do here is we need to think to ourselves, right, in Australia it was 32. Now I know that that is above zero. So let's say this is zero here, then 32 is going to be somewhere up here. And in Iceland, 
it's minus 2. So I can put my minus 2 on my number line. Now at the moment it doesn't really matter if they're accurate, it's just to get a sense of the positive numbers and the negative numbers. Now let's have a look. In Australia, well we know that 32 degrees is 32 steps away from 0, because if I count from 0 to 32, I will have counted up 32 steps. And I also know that minus 2 is 2 away from 0, because if I start at 0, I can count minus 1, minus 2. So I can see here that I've got a step of 2 and a step of 32. So I can tell that the difference in temperature between Australia and Iceland is 34 degrees. I can add them together and I get the answer 34 degrees. Let's look at this next question. A lift in a tall building travels from the 18th floor to an underground car park on floor minus three. How far has the lift travelled? Let's have a look at our question and decide what the important information is. So the lift in the tall building travels from the 18th floor, I think that's going to be important, to an underground car park on floor minus three. How far has the lift travelled? Well, what we can do in this question is we can think to ourselves, well, let's imagine that we've got a lift. So we can draw ourselves this time, let's draw a vertical um, number line. So if my 18th floor is up here, uh, my underground car park is going to be on the minus third floor. Now, let's think about roughly where zero would be. Well, it's going to be closer to minus three. So let's imagine zero is about here. So I want to know how far has the lift travelled from my from 18 all the way down to minus 3. So let's have a think. Well, to go from 18 to 0, that's going to be 18 floors, isn't it? So we just count back from 18 until we get to 0. And then from 0 to minus 3, well, that will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So I can see that that's 1, 2, 3 floors. So my lift has travelled 18 floors and three floors. So altogether, my lift has travelled 21 floors. So my answer is 21. Now it's your turn to pause the video and have a try at these negative number word problems. And then we'll go through them and we'll see how you did. OK, let's see how we got on. So the first question, the temperature today is three degrees. Tomorrow the temperature will fall five degrees. So we know that the temperature is three degrees and it will fall. That means it's going to get colder. So that's going to be minus five. So we're going to do three minus five and that gives us the answer minus two. So the answer to question one is minus two. Let's have a look at the second question. So on Wednesday, the temperature was minus seven. Overnight, the temperature increased by four. What was the temperature on Thursday? Well, let's have a look. So the temperature on Wednesday was minus 7. And then it says that overnight the temperature increased. That means it's getting warmer. So we're going to add 4 degrees. So we're going to do minus 7 plus 4. And the answer is minus 3. And then let's have a look at the third question. So the third question says, in London, the temperature was 13 degrees centigrade. In New York, the temperature was minus 2 degrees centigrade. What is the difference in temperature? So difference, we're looking at the difference between 13 and minus 2. So if we think about our number line, sketch ourselves a quick number line. We've got 13 at this end, minus 2 at this end. And then think about where 0 is going to go, roughly about there. And then we can think to ourselves, well, 13 to 0 is 13. And 0 to minus 2 is 2. So altogether, our answer is going to be 15. The difference in temperature is 15. How did you do? If you made any mistakes, perhaps rewind the video and have a look at some of the teaching points again. And well done.